Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today we have a little Christmas in July mini album. It features the designer series paper Under the Mistletoe by Stampin' Up. And currently, the month of July, the time of this video, this paper is part of the Buy Three Get One Free designer series paper stack. So what we'll be making today is just the basics, just the assembly of the mini album. And then at the end of the video, I'll explain what products I use for um, the decorations that I have so far. Let's get started making this mini album. The materials that I'm using today in this easy mini album are the designer series paper, again, from the Under the Mistletoe from Stampin' Up. It's in, available in the 2018-19 catalog. We're going to need two sheets of designer series paper, your choice, whatever you like the best, um, cut at eight by six, and then three pieces of designer series paper from the same pack, cut at four by eight. And what I did is, in order to just maximize the sheets, what you can do is take advantage of the two-sided paper that Stampin' Up! has. And so, again, we're going to be able to get lots of different color variations because of the two-sidedness. All right, let's do some simple scoring. For the three pieces that are cut at four by eight, what we wanna do is, along the eight-inch side, score it at four, and do that on all three of those sizes. And then on the sheets that are eight by six, um, we're going to score at four inches each direction. So along the eight inch side, score at four. And I've already got this one. Nope, I don't have this one done yet. And then along the six inch side, score at four. I am using the Simply Scored scoring tool and you can so do that on your Stampin' Trimmer using the score blade too. So do it on those two sizes. Now it's time to decide on which side of the designer series paper we want everybody to see as well as to get them scored nicely. So we want to get out our bone folder and we just want to make sure that we give these edges a nice crisp edge on it. So we're going to score, or not score, but we're going to burnish the fold lines. Just making sure that those line up nice and align nicely here. And we can worry about which side we want to do here in just a little bit. Do that. Okay. So um, for these smaller ones, these are going to be on the inside of the card, or part of them are going to be. And I love this paper more than, or this design more than that. So actually this is going to end up being my back side. So I'm going to choose that to be my back. These two pieces will end up being on the inside of our mini album. So whichever design that you want them to see on the inside, that's what you want to use because we're going to be doing some gluing and you won't see this side of it. I like both of them. I want the variety. So on this particular one, I'm going to just flip it so that on one of them, the inside will be the poinsettia pattern and the other one will be the plaid but there if there's a paper that you don't really or a pattern that you're not really keen on that would be a good time to use that for some of the inside and again just this will all make sense here when we start assembling now on these these are going to be um, end up being our pockets that we have on the inside of our um, inside of our album so again pick the side that or the paper that you like the best and that's going to be the inside and so I love these pine cones and so you can either think of it as you want the pine cones in the background or you want to see a pocket of pine cones and so I think I want to see on this one a pocket of pine cones and so you can see what I did here and this is where we scored it at four inch along the six inch side we're going to simply fold that up and that's going to become our pocket and then when we fold it again against the four inch score line in the other direction that's going to get us the size of our mini album and we've just made the pocket and the same thing on this other one you know so i think on this one i'm going to use the bells and the pine cones on the inside just to kind of give it some variety and again just making sure all of those fold lines line up nice and crisp. Okay, let's start assembling. 
You can use whatever strong adhesive of choice that you have. I'm going to recommend using the multi-liquid glue that Stampin' Up! has for it. Okay, so how this is going to be is we're going to stack these on top of each other. So it's just a matter of determining the order that we want them to be. Again, I love this paper, so I do want this to be the front and the back of it. And then what I want to do is I'm going to alternate like the pockets and the non-pocket ones. All right, so this is going to be my order. Okay. So again, this is going to be the inside because I want this to be the outside of it. And what I want to do is I'm going to use the lightest of touch when I assemble or when I put the glue down. One, I don't want to oversaturate it. And two, I don't want it to, um, when I put the um, paper on top of each other, I also don't want it to ooze out. Okay, so I'm going to put a little more there. Okay, so I'm working from the back up on it. And so this is going to be the next one, just making sure I have an opening in the right direction that I want. And I'm going to stack that, making sure that things line up nice. And take my bone folder and burnish. Okay, that's going to be my next one. Same thing, it's just repeating. We're going to go ahead and do a light bead of multi-purpose glue. I suppose you could use tear and tape on this too. What is um, the benefit of using liquid glue is it does give you, again, a little wiggle room and mobility before, before it sets. So I like that, give myself just a little bit of play with it. Okay, got two more layers here. And I might speed up the camera here. Okay, so now we have our little four by four pocket. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. It's so cute. So, so cute. All right, now what I want to do is I am going to put a little binding on the edge here just to give it a little more stability as we open and shut it. So I've cut an inch of real red cardstock. That's one of the cardstocks in the cardstock pack that you get in this um, designer series paper suite or the suite of products. And I have it cut at one by four. Four is the length of our, of our mini album here. And what I want to do, this is going to become the binding of it. It's one inch. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my paper or my Simply Scored scoring tool. And I'm going to score it at half an inch and then just go one notch over so that would be five eighths and also three eighths what this is going to do is allow just a little bit of bend in the spine in the spine and give it just a little flexibility as we wrap it around okay so that's what i like to do to kind of give that a little bit of play now out comes the tear and tape and what I want to do is to try to get it as close to the outer edge of this as possible. On both ends of the real red. And this is kind of going to be, the, this is the inside that we're going to need to do. And I'm going to get my scissors and kind of just trim that up just a little bit. I don't want too much glue hanging off of the edge. And let's see here. We'll do the... So um, if you have trouble getting the tape started, just grab your paper piercer. And we're going to get that started just a little bit. And I'm going to turn this upside down because of how I have to do this. And what I want to do is get it started so that you're just about right on that first score line there, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
So I just kind of peel back part of it. And now when I lift up the rest, I can just simply peel it off and put it down. Isn't that the cutest little trick of doing that? That way it stays where you want it to stay beforehand. So that way you can just kind of peel it up a little bit, get it started. Go ahead and close it. And then you can peel off the rest of it. All right, so now we have the cute little book. I do have it slightly off, but that's no big deal at all. Okay, so now I've got the edges reinforced on it. And next what I like to do is like keep burnishing to keep it opening good. So I've got the seam on it now, but now I want to go ahead and open up each of my pages and crease it again. Again, this just helps it move when we start to enjoy it. All right, so now it's time to kind of glue down these pockets. And again, I'm going to get the multi-purpose glue. And this one might be a little hard to see, but I'm going to put a fine bead of adhesive again. Get started, there we go. Just right up to that score line on both ends. Want it to have a nice strong adhesive, but I don't want to, you know, interfere with the pockets that much. Okay, so I'm gonna go to, I have the other pocket, open that up. Same thing. Whoops, that's a glop. little fine bead there. Get those edges down. And then on this one, I want to make sure I get that adhesive off the edge. Okay, we've got the inside pockets made. Next, I'm going to take this trio punch here, and it's got the rounded corners. And I think rounded corners just make this look a little more finished. And so, We'll go ahead and we just kind of put the ends in the guide and punch. And we get these really nice rounded corners. And I'm going to do that on every page. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that just kind of finishes off our little mini album, just gives that little bit of a detail that I'm looking for in my mini albums. So let's just take an example of where I'm going with my mini album that I made using under the mistletoe designer series paper. What I did is I used images here from the mistletoe season stamp set. Again, that's part of the stamp set that's in the suite of products with this paper as well as primarily using the, the cardstock pack that goes along with it too, and then added a few other colors. I used Pretty Pines um, framelits to do the pine cones, and then I brought in some shimmering white um, embossing paste to put a little snow on it. I thought that would bring out the white from the paper. So that's there, and you may notice that I added a half inch strip of designer series paper that coordinates it. I had that band a little off wax, so I just put a little connecting piece there and now I'm all fine with it. And so what might you put in the pockets? Here I made a little layering three and a half by three or three by three um, little pull out. You could add another sentiment journaling or even trim out a photo and tuck in there. And of course you can do all sorts of stamping other images and um, you know, adding ribbon or whatever else that you might want to have in there. This would also be a great place if you want to make this into a pull tag. You know, you can do that too. On here, I've got places that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. These were cut at three and a half by three and a half. And again, I used the corner rounder feature of the triple punch to do that. So some places for some photos, for some journaling. Leaving this blank, not sure what I want to do with it. And then, you know, something to kind of end the book with. 
Um, here I just added some of the red rhinestones and again some of the images that are in that stamp set. And that's our little mini album. I hope you enjoy it and I hope that that inspires you on some ideas that you can use with the designer series paper and a little Christmas in July at the time of the video or just a Christmas mini album. Thanks for watching everybody and happy crafting. Bye-bye.